Hi, today on Nadja and Karen, we are talking to Guy, who's a professional sommelier, who's going to explain to us the difference between champagne and sparkling wine. Guy? Well, uh, uh, every champagne are sparkling, but it's not every sparkling wine that are lucky enough to be champagne. Mm, nicely said. A champagne yeah. has to be made in the region of Champagne in France, which is probably the most northern area where we do produce grape uh, in the world. Uh, we don't produce red wine in Champagne, we produce just white wine. And that white wine is put back into a bottle with yeast and sugar. And then a cap is put on the bottle and we proceed to a second fermentation okay. that would last for at least two years and it could go up to five to ten years uh, more. So the longer, with the more expensive. And the finest are the bubbles, oh. because that second fermentation will create the bubbles inside of the bottle. So sugar and yeast. And yeast inside That's of a it. wine yes. already made, not inside of uh, grape juice. It has to be wine. <laughs> <first time. laughs> and what makes the unicity of champagne is the fact that the underground is very, very, very chalky. Also, oh, the soil Pure is chalk. chalk. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Which is something you don't have in almost uh, any other uh, region, uh, not only in France, but in the world. Yeah, wow. it's so only in, in cognac area where you do have some chalk underground. Rosé champagne doesn't exist then. Yes, rosé champagne exists because we do produce two percent of red wine. <laughs> no, we do produce. Said white. <laughs> we do produce two percent of red wine to color the oh, white champagne into rosé. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, yeah. you for the information. The rosé champagne is made out in adding some red wine from Pinot Noir, grown into the city of Bouzy, B-O-U-Z-Y, you yeah. didn't know that? In, Champagne. <laughs> in Champagne. And yeah. what about all these glass? Well, we, uh, people my age will remember the coupe that yes. we used to use in the 50s, 60s, 70s. Like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yeah exactly. We don't, like use that. <laughs> we, uh, we don't use that anymore because you don't see the bubbling uh, and also your nose does not fit in it. Well, it don't does. forget that your yeah, your right. nose and your mouth at the same time. <laughs> when it's empty, your nose brings to your brain almost twenty-five to thirty percent of the taste information. Okay. So if you take a flute, which is the second example of champagne yes. uh, glasses, it's very nice, very elegant. You can uh, easily see uh, the bubbling going up, but your nose does not fit. Yeah. No, that's which means that you lose. At least 25 to 30 percent of what the hell is going on in the glass, yes. and that's why. So and that's why I think they say you look like a snob because you, it's it's kind of complicated. To yeah, do it. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. But it's very elegant. But on the other side, there's the tulip, in which the nose fits, or you can use an old red wine uh, glass. Uh, no more uh, champagne than in here. Okay. And when you will put the glass like this, if you put your nose in here, so no you're stirs. in the middle of heaven. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's how you start to get drunk a little Amazing. bit already. Amazing. <laughs> the nose, really remember that, is at least 25 to 30 percent of the taste going up to your brain. No. Okay, okay, so we're going to do a contest, Kevin. Oh, yeah. You and I, we're going to try both, and we have to decide or f figure out which one is the Cremant and which one is the Champagne. Yes. Oh, I will know right away. I'm um, an expert. <laughs> You'll and, see. And if you lose, you will come to my place to clean. Oh, if you lose, you're going to come over my place, babysit my kids, do their homework, sleep with my boyfriend. Okay, I'm no. joking. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Okay. No. So which one do we try Two. first? Then you try these first okay. and these second. Okay. So what uh, what uh, notes, what things should we look for when we taste okay, the Okay, um, the fineness of the bubbling and also the last thing of the odors inside of your nose when you first smell it. Okay. So smell And first. the last thing of the, uh, what you have, what's left in your mouth Ooh. after you've swallowed the wine, the, the finest of what's the taste left inside of your mouth. Okay, okay so we start that. with the nose first. Yeah. Mm. Can I just do wow. that? <laughs> so one try, okay. Put it usually you would take a little mm, piece of bread yes. to to, to clean the put palate. back your mouth yes. to okay. zero. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm all confused now. <laughs> okay. And okay. The first one. First one is what? The the real champagne. No, no, the real the champagne. Okay. Yes. The champagne. champagne. The champagne. 
And for you, sweetie pie? No, I think it's the first one too. No. How come you're it's your the second pie? one. Ah, oh, we're both losers. Yeah. The first one was the crema, and the second one was the champagne. Wow. But uh, oh we have it's to so say to, to uh, the people that are watching us that they've had the exercise in French first. So yeah, uh, so we're yeah, they've been too bit much already. <laughs> no, but it was hard to choose this but time. In, in French, I was good. You still owe me to clean my apartment. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Okay, and me, out. I lost the two times. But I'm, I'm so happy because I didn't want to see what you Girl, <laughs> to your Cheers. health. To your health. Yes, to yeah. your health.